Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Hazard Inc., and I am here today to teach you how to build something that can be very useful for your realm. Uh, what am I talking about? Well, it's pretty well known, I guess, but I'm actually pretty proud of it because uh, I didn't look anything up. I made it myself. So I just want to show you in case maybe you don't know how. Um, anyway, again, I'm Hazard Inc. It's nice to meet you. I hope that you all have a uh, hankering to learn because I got hankering to teach. All right, so let's hurry up and just get this over with, shall we? Um, I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you um, what it is first. Uh, today, it happens to be this kind of weird looking thing over here because uh, I'm weird and I like to make weird looking things. This is pretty much like a post office box for your server or for your realm. And the purpose behind this is because sometimes you just can't be on all the time. And maybe somebody owes you something or maybe they want to buy something from you. Or maybe they have something to give you in exchange for a service maybe you did for them earlier. Like maybe build them a house or help them with their crops or who knows what you could have done. But anyway, let's go ahead and just start with uh, this is how it works. Alright, so you got a chest here. All you're going to do is you're going to throw your what have you to give them. And then, boom, a light lights up. Now, you can put the name on this sign. I'm sure it would be very helpful for the person to know that it's theirs. So, I didn't put one on because there's nobody here to receive it. <laughs> um, anyway, this... Is a very simple build. It doesn't take much at all, resource-wise. Yeah, it might take you about half an hour to find all the resources and gather them. Uh, the hardest thing to build is actually the redstone lamp, right there, and a comparator. So, this is pretty much how you're gonna do it. We're gonna run over here, and this is the materials that you're gonna need to actually build it. Now, you can have a shulker box, or you can have a chest. Or you can have a trap chest. I mean, this is all completely up to you. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pull your one shulker box. Just for right now, we're going to go ahead and, for the sake of saying it and having it, it's just going to be a shulker box. You're going to need two redstone torches, two redstone dust, one comparator, one redstone lamp, and any building block of your choice as long as it is redstone conductive. All right. So this is what is going to happen. I am going to place a block here, Oops, right there in the middle. And I am going to tip this shulker box on its side. And then I'm gonna break that block because it was just a placeholder. You ever seen the bottom of a shulker box? They look really weird. It looks like a square snail shell almost. All right, so you're gonna throw your redstone comparator down like so. All right, and that's gonna send a pulsing signal out to whatever block it is that uh, you're gonna put in front of that, which is also going to have one of these guys connected to the side. So with that redstone torch on the other side, you don't have to tick this at all. There's no ticks needed, you just leave it be. The next thing you're gonna do is place another brick or a block on top of this torch like so, and you're gonna place another torch like so. Notice how it blinked. That's how you know you're getting power. This is actually a chain of, of, of uh, an effect that is actually useful when you're trying to power stuff that's up real tall, like up in the sky. And you can use this to keep sending a signal all the way up so you don't have to have everything running right there. But uh, we're not doing all that, and uh, we'll, we're just going to pass that. Excuse me for a moment. I must feel like I should go over and dance with the spider. Doing little twirly twirls and loop loops or whatever. All right, so anyway, we're going to place another block right on top of this torch right here. Just like so. And then we're gonna place one right on top of that comparator. And now we're gonna place another placeholder here down in front of this redstone lamp. Now we're going to break that placeholder. 
Why am I not flying, you ask? I'm sure you are. It's because to do this in real or with in survival without flying is amazing. I only do creative just to show things like this off. And on those two blocks that you just placed, you put some redstone dust to connect it and make touch that redstone lamp. And voila, you have yourself a really nice post office box style post office that you can either use yourself or you can throw it on a realm you can make it for yourself on a realm uh whatever whatever you feel like doing um so the awesome part about this thing is that it's really small this is about as small as it gets you might be able to make it one step smaller like i don't know maybe put the redstone lamp here which i will go ahead and try and we shall see what happens Okay. So now, basically, you just gotta throw something in there. Quickly, bam! It lights up, and you got yourself a nice way to signal people that they've got mail. Um, I recommend actually throwing like a name tag or something there if you're actually running this on a on a realm. Like, don't don't be mean. Don't let their stuff get stolen. That's not cool. You wouldn't like it either. Uh, just assuming that you're on a public server, not so much a privately owned one. Just an assumption. All right, so now that I'm done building all this, I uh, have one over here with a shulker box and a chest. And I actually had two shulker boxes connected to it, and they were all wired together, working together. I'd never done anything like this before, so I was quite proud of it. Alright, but anyway, same principle applies. The cool thing is is that they all are linked together, so no matter what you do, they will all make that redstone light glow bright. Right, see? Pretty nifty. And I'll tell you what, it took me the better part of maybe a half hour trying to figure out how to wire this thing right. And all I had to do was that. <laughs> but alright. Um, I think tomorrow... Uh, I think... Now don't quote me. I'm going to try. I just had some teeth extracted yesterday, so... Still kind of feeling a little bit of a pain in the mouth. And I might be hacking coffee and wheezy and all sorts of nastiness. Um, but I'm going to try to put up a video of either a fully functional automated, uh, well, not automated to kill, but automated making drown farm, or I am going to put up a skelly spawner so you can get an XP farm and an XP grinder as long as you find yourself a mob spawner. And I might throw it up again tonight. Or make another video tonight. I really don't know. I, I might feel rambunctious later after I go eat dinner and pick my wife up from work. But um, I hope everybody has a wonderful day. And uh, if you liked the video, please, by all means, subscribe. Uh, that lets us know, or lets me and the wife know that you like it and that you'd like to see.